everyone, this is TWF, Saturday the 30th of October, Fall Mall, live pro wrestling from the Windmill Cove Bar and Grill at 7600 Windmill Cove Road in Stockton, California. Early start time of 4 p.m., 20 bucks, wrestling themed Halloween party with live music right after the wrestling festivities. I hope to see you all there. And then we move on to the 20th of November. It's in Tracy, California at the Mountain House Barn Grill, 16784 West Grant Line Road. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, just 12 for adults, 10 for kids. Beautiful patio area in Tracy, California to enjoy all the pro wrestling action. Then wreck the halls. That's our biggest and best venue, Sacramento, California's Colonial Theater, 3522 Stockton Boulevard on December 11th. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7, 15 for adults, $10 for kids. Facebook.com slash the TWF for all the information about that epic live event. Bring a toy for us to take down the street to Shriners. Great time. And then New Year's Eve, we're back at the Stockton Arena. That's right, thousands and thousands of people for the Stockton Heat game. We will be there at 1 p.m. for the Heat hockey game. Pro wrestling matches between periods 248 West Fremont Street. The Stockton Arena is lit when TWF comes around, of course. And then the first show of 2022 is called Club Collision. Live pro wrestling at the Boys and Girls Club, 545 West Alameda Street in Manteca. Doors at 630, bell time at 7, 15 bucks for adults, $10 for kids. It's always a great time, lots of screaming people. Well, tonight's the night. CJ Dirt versus Dave Wasted one-on-one -on -one for the television championship here in Modesto. That is your main event. Do not go anywhere. It will be a barn burner. Commissioner Team Money is here, and he is calling out Christian Black to start this thing in Modesto this week. What's up, Eagles All? Good night, These two have not seen eye to eye for months. Now Christian Black. Oh. 
Well, the hatred runs deep between Christian Black and Commissioner T-Money. T-Money, however, is playing games with Christian Black's title shot. November 20th in Tracy. Well, out steps Tuco Montes. After a brutal dog collar match a few months ago, Tuco Montes was on the shelf. Tuco Montes was hurt. He is back to 100% and being and now being forced to face Christian Black one on one on this program. Christian, this is Modesto, California. I'm a little bit flustered because Christian Black had a title shot. November 20th in Tracy, California, Christian Black had earned a championship opportunity. However, Commissioner T Money's playing games with it. If Christian loses today, if Christian loses this matchup, his title shot gets flushed down the drain, plus he'll get a $1,000 bonus to whoever can beat him. Tico Montez has been thrown in this position. He's not going to say no to an opportunity. I hear music. Commissioner Team Money is at. Commissioner Team Money has added a third person to this matchup. That is the Mexican pit bull, Mateo Gonzalez, who does hold a singles victory over Christian Black in Clear Lake about four months ago. And he's not going to win any friends here in Modesto. Whoever can win this wild and wooly affair will get a championship opportunity on November 20th in Tracy, California. Adds a monkey wrench to the situation. Now it's three men competing for one championship shot. For one shot at the TWF title. And it looks like if these people get their way, Mateo will be the one to get the beat down. Of course, later on in this hour, you will see CJ Dirt go one-on-one -on -one with Dave Wasted for the television championship of this company. As it stands right now, we've got three very different individuals with one common goal. Another one? Then you will be carried on. Dreamy Drew has been added as well. This is now a four-way matchup. I'm being told first pinfall or submission wins. Sudden death environment. Is Team Money just gonna add everyone in the locker room? One by one, is that gonna be our show today? It's not very compelling TV. Well, in this very, very unpredictable situation, this was supposed to be a singles matchup. It is now four. Four men competing for one title shot November 20th in Tracy, California at the Mountain House Bar and Grill. First pinfall or submission wins. Very unpredictable.
Well, here we go. All four men going at it to start this thing this week. This is Modesto. And stereo clotheslines. Down goes Mateo. Down goes Dreamy Drew. We've got Christian Black and Tuco Montes on the inside. And Mateo arguing on the outside with Dreamy Drew. Well, now Christian Black, the most experienced of the bunch, I would think. Hammerlock on the inside. Oh. And gets shoved, kicked to the outside by Tuco Montes. And Mateo and Drew are going to town, beating the hell out of Christian Black, but don't take your eyes off of Tuco. Wow! And Tuco Montes flips off the top onto all three other opponents, and down they go. There's an exciting way to start this thing. And then Tuco throwing caution to the wind, dives on everyone in sight. And Tuco Montez might have just cashed his ticket to another championship opportunity, almost won the title in Manteca, California a few months back. And big chop on Dreamy Drew. Mateo's still down, Christian Black is still down. Dreamy Drew gets his face rammed into the ring post there. This could be an opening that a guy like Tuco needs to earn another shot at the title. Very nearly beat Big Enough Matt Freeman for the title in Manteca a little while back. Missed the clothesline. Head scissors. Tuco turns a negative into a positive and sends him over with a tilt to world flying head scissors. The cameraman's going to earn his money right now. We've got action spilling on all sides of the ring. Dreamy Drew with some rights to the skull on Tuco Montez. What a chop. Meanwhile, Mateo Gonzalez was beating up Christian on the other side. Oh, smushed in the corner. Belly to belly suplex, down he goes. Only two. Christian's on the floor on the outside, clutching his body. Mateo Gonzalez, it's packed out there. There's that head scissor one more time. Nice belly to belly by Dreamy Drew, but unable. Unable to secure the three count in that situation. Tuco now to the outside, it's unpredictable. It's wild. We're going to do the best we can to capture all this action. It's packed to the gills here in Modesto at the Eagles Hall. We love this place. Great venue for pro wrestling. And now Mateo. If he wrestled as good as he talked, he'd already be the champion. He spends every minute of every match talking crap to everyone. Just shut up and wrestle. Be doing us a favor. And Dreamy Drew, maybe the more experienced of the two, but not by much. Looks like Mateo might be a shade taller. The crowd doesn't like either one of these guys, but that's what happens when you put four people together. Very different. I'll want that title shot. Swinging neck breaker. Nicely done by the Mexican pit bull. Down goes Dreamy Drew. As I alluded to earlier, there's a cover. Christian very, very quick to break it up. Later on in this hour, Dave wasted. Here we go. There's that neck breaker. Dave Wasted goes one-on-one, -on -one, challenges CJ Dirt for the television championship later in this hour. So do not go anywhere. Nice DDT. Christian Black retaliates. The one guy that hasn't been involved in a whole lot of the offense is Christian Black. Took some early punishment from the others. Now it's Mateo and Christian. They've been going at it for a decade in towns all over the place. Mateo with the control. Reversal. And Christian dives with a shoulder into the midsection and Mateo is hurting. Death Valley driver. Beautifully executed by Christian Black. Cover that man. 
and everyone's there to break it up. All the four participants are in the ring. There's a replay. Christian Black very nearly got himself a victory. Emphasis on the nearly. You see him scatter the second he tries to make that pinfall. Tuco Montez and Dreamy Drew both don't want to just sit around and let the pinfall happen right in front of them. Nice chop by Tuco Montez. Gorgeous sling blade clothesline turns him inside out. Nicely done. Only two. Despite turning him inside out with that sling blade clothesline, it was only a two count for Tuco Montez. A oh, cheap shot. A blatant cheap shot. Low blow in front of the referee. There are no disqualifications in a four-way environment like this. There has to be a winner. Sudden death situation. And Mateo knows that. Muscles him over with the suplex. And once again, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Only two, Commissioner T Money, look at concern on his face. He doesn't want to give a title shot to Christian Black. Why'd he set this up? Sky high power bomb, and down goes Tuco. But Christian Black breaks up any possibility of a victory there for Mateo. What a sling blade clothesline. Not to be outdone. Sky high power ball, and Christian Black very quick to make sure it was not three. All men have seen their share of punishment. Christian Black, the only man standing in the squared circle at this moment in time. And that, my friends, was a clothesline. That, my friends, nearly took his head off. And that's exactly what Christian needed at that juncture in the matchup. Mateo is not moving. And look at Dreamy Drew trying to steal a victory. Very nearly behind Christian's black as he fired up this crowd. What a clothesline. Good God. Took his head off in a hurry. Dreamy Drew tried to be sneaky. Tried to get a victory, did not succeed. And now it's come to a point in the match where it's straight right hands and forearms flying everywhere. Who wants it more? Deep down, who wants that title shot? Who wants to move forward? Who wants to move up the ladder here in TWF? Yeah, that's the sound of elbows on flesh. And now it's raining eye rakes. That's the desperation of the situation right there. Look at Dreamy Drew. Behind his back, tried to steal a victory. Christian turned around just in the nick of time, and it didn't happen. And now, see, I told you it's going to break down into nothing more than a glorified street fight. This is four men. Dreamy Drew, very smart to isolate one guy for punishment while the others try to recover. He's been around the block. Former tag team champion here in TWF is Dreamy Drew. Same with Mateo Gonzalez. Oh, tremendous. Uranagi plants him in the center of the ring. But don't turn your back for a split second. Oh, dropped him on his face. Oh, frog splash! Christian wins! Here is your winner by pinfall, Christian Black! It was raining finishers. And when the smoke cleared, Christian Black hit that frog splash, got the one, two, three, and keeps his title shot for Tracy, California for November 20th. Despite the obstacles thrown in front of him, 
by our damn crooked commissioner, Christian Black, finds a way to succeed here in Modesto. Much appreciation from a packed house here in Modesto, and Commissioner T-Money cannot be pleased with tonight's results. A million obstacles overcome these past several months by Christian Black. Will he become the new champion of this company November 20th in Tracy? Only time will tell. And champ, guess what? There's a new sheriff coming to town, and I'll see you on the 20th. What a performance by that guy right there. All right here, it was rain and finishers over and over. Christian gets the last laugh. If you want a live pro wrestling birthday party, private party, corporate events, whatever, we're ready to bring the action to your town. Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com is our email. Let's do some business. Just did one in Amador County. Well, it was last week on this program that Big MF Matt Freeman and Mr. Ego Tony Vargas had a locker room brawl that spilled out into the crowd. They did not want to wait till the main event, so they fought. So they fought for the title in the middle of the show. It was the timely interference of CJ Dirt that got Matt Freeman disqualified and saved the title for him in my estimation. If not for the interference of CJ Dirt, we would have crowned a brand new champion last week. Yeah, 
Tough Guy. See you in Stockton on the 30th. This Saturday night at the Windmill Cove, your greatest TWF champion ever has to put his title on the line against someone I have no desire to wrestle against. Because I've already defended my title successfully against Tony Morris, just like I defended my title successfully against Drake Frost. And as you can tell, by all the flyers that are coming out after this date that got Big MF as the champ. Everyone knows that the Big MF is going to do whatever it takes to walk away the champion. Win, I don't care. Lose, I don't care. The Big MF is going to hold on to the strap. The winner is going to be the Big I-G-M-F. Vargas, you got a destiny with a Stockton slap. Well, there it is, live and in person on the 30th of October in Stockton, Big MF Matt Freeman versus Tony Vargas for the championship of TWF. The rematch was quickly to be signed. That was some BS from last week on this program. And then the main event here tonight on this program from Modesto, CJ Dirt defends the television championship against Dave Wasted. So do not go anywhere. Please join us for our main event later on in the show. Live Pro Wrestling is coming at you from TWF. October 30th, Windmill Cove Barn Grill, 7600 Windmill Cove Road in Stockton. Doors at 4 p.m. early time, 20 bucks, but you get a wrestling-themed Halloween party after with live music throughout the night. It is right by the water. It is our most picturesque venue ever. We look forward to the show. And then Tracy, California, November 20th, Mountain House Barn Grill, 16784 West Grantline Road. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, 12 for adults, 10 for kids. Let's pack the place with old school TWF Tracy fans. It's all ages. Any age can come and enjoy the action in the city of Tracy. And then November, I'm sorry, December 11th, Colonial Theater. 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. Doors at 6.30, bell at 7. 15 for adults, 10 for kids. The Colonial Theater is our greatest venue. It is our Madison Square Garden. There is absolutely nothing like live pro wrestling at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. So please join us. And then New Year's Eve at Stockton Arena. A 10,000 seat arena. 1 p.m. Tickets are between 16 and 27. You get a hockey game with TWF matches in between the periods. 248 West Fremont Street in Stockton, California. We did it a couple years ago before the pandemic. That's the picture you see on your screen. And then we kick off 2022 with a bang. Boys and Girls Club, 545 West Alameda Street in Trace, I'm sorry, in Manteca, California. Doors at 6.30, bell time at 7, 15 for adults, 10 for kids. Manteca's Boys and Girls Club holds a special place. Here we go with more action from Modesto, California, the Eagles Hall, one half of the newly crowned Tag Team Champions.
outlaw Justin Caden captured the tag titles a few weeks ago at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento, California. Enormous victory for the Vigilance Committee. Unfortunately for him though, his partner, Austin Ames, is not in the building right now. He's flying solo here in Modesto. Singles competition against a guy who held those tag titles several years back. Calls himself the main event. Very interesting dichotomy. Well, if you like TWF, like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash the TWF is the place to check out all the upcoming shows and everything else. And then at all of our live events, our friends from Zombie Prevention Company will be selling a variety of products like board games, replica weapons, CBD products, and much, much more more so bring a few extra dollars to our live events and get something from zombie prevention my six-year-old son loves his mario action figure that he got from them a few months back Outsteps main event Michael Sean. Outsteps a guy who's full of himself. Outsteps a guy who, quite frankly, might have the best physique in the whole company, though. He spent the pandemic adding lean muscle mass to his body, helping his cardio, helping his look, helping everything for his pro wrestling career. You have to give credit where credit is due. You might not like his attitude. the trash talk in the world from main event Michael Sean will do absolutely no good against the big strong cowboy the outlaw Justin Caton staring across the ring from him right here and now talk about different styles talk about different attitudes different philosophies on life you couldn't have a more different matchup than what's staring you in the face right now Outlaw Justin Caton, much more powerful, much stronger than Michael Sean could ever dream of being. Will that be a difference maker here this evening? And Michael Sean, already playing some mind games, gets out of the ring, taking his time. Getting under the skin of all these people here in Modesto, California. Getting under my skin. Let's do this thing. And outlaw Justin Caton, he's a vet. You're not going to psych him out. You're not going to fluster him. He's been around the block eight times. All right, here we go, finally. Colin Obo now. Looks like Caton, not only is he the bigger, he's also the taller of the two. And he's not going anywhere. Like running into a brick wall. Michael Sean might want to think about different offense. Oh, running lariat. Running clothesline. Down goes the outlaw. I don't think he expected that. Stunned him more than hurt him. I don't think so. Front face lock, but absolutely no suplex. Open hand palm strike. And Michael Sean's hurt. and smushes him with all that body weight, with all that size. And more violence in the corner. Michael Sean is hurt, and Michael Sean just absorbed two absolutely <laughs> flattening moves in the corner. There's one guy, there's one big man in TWF that knows how to utilize that size. And that's the outlaw. 
Michael Sean in big trouble. Only a few minutes into this thing. Trying to get to his feet. Couple of shots to the midsection. No success thus far. Close line and down goes main event. Michael Sean. All the flashy tights and all the weightlifting ain't helping right now. He's getting old-fashioned ass kicking from a big cowboy. And Michael Sean gets the boot up right into the chin of outlaw Justin King. 1987 Macho Man double axe handle. Definitely stunned the big man. One more time right on the skull. And Michael Sean doing everything he can to take this big man down. Oh, he caught it. That's an iron claw. That's a Von Erich iron claw right across the forehead, right across the temples of Michael Sean. He's lucky he's tangled in the ropes or he might tap out. Trying to escape that vice grip of the big man. Michael Sean trying to get some separation, but Justin Caton is way too strong. His only defense mechanism is to climb into the ropes and force the referee to break things. Otherwise, he might have tapped out. That's how big and strong the outlaw is. Oh wait, what's in his hand? What's in his hand? Oh wait a second, was that brass knuckles? Oh, I can see it on the canvas. Michael Sean just used brass knuckles across the face of outlaw Justin Caton and gets a victory here tonight in Modesto. Those are brass knuckles. Could not win this thing on his own merits and snuck a pair of brass knuckles in his damn tights and got a victory. All that time in the gym, improving your physique, improving your cardio, and you stoop to that level. Well, right here, it could have been over right here. That's an iron claw. That's a vice grip iron claw across the face. But then, the shot with the brass knuckles and the one, two, three. Despicable. Now this crowd pleading with the referee, with referee Jonah. Those are brass knuckles. The referee did not see it. And unfortunately, Michael Sean got himself a very tainted win. When I landed in jail, Belonging to a union saved me 20% at All Pro Bail Bonds. When my buddy called me to bail him out, I went to All Pro Bail Bonds. They give the military a 20% discount. I needed my husband home with us, but I didn't have the money to get him out. That's why I went to All Pro Bail Bonds, because they let me make payments. You never know when you'll need a pro. Call All Pro Bail Bonds, 888-845-BAIL. Offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds.
This is Modesto, California. This is the Eagles Hall, an absolutely gorgeous building. We return here in February of 2022, but the action tonight is red hot inside this very historic building. Well, you can watch the AEW Full Gear Wrestling Pay-Per-View on November 13th at the Beach Hut Deli in Sacramento, California. The specific address there is 2535 Fair Oaks Boulevard. It's the best sandwiches, beer, and much, much more in all the 916. Our friends at Beach Hut Deli definitely throw down when it comes to live pro wrestling pay-per-view parties. And some of the images on this show were provided by Indie Handshake, the absolute best podcast and YouTube page when it comes to the history of Northern California professional wrestling. The bump of the moment. The bump of the moment, taking all the big bumps and all the cool stuff from last week and giving it to you here on TWF. 209 Pro Wrestling Academy, become a wrestler today with training with Vinny Massaro and Big Ugly, J.D. Bishop. What a time to be in the wrestling business. Live pro wrestling is coming your way on the 30th of October, Windmill Cove, Barn Grill, 7600 Windmill Cove Road. Showtime is 4 p.m. there in Stockton. It's $20. You get a pro wrestling-themed Halloween party after the matches with live bands and fun for everyone. Please be there live, live, live. And Tracy, the birthplace of TWF, sees live pro wrestling on November 20th at the Mountain House Bar and Grill. It's an all-ages show, 16784 West Grant Line Road. Doors at 6, showtime at 7, just 12 for adults and 10 for kids. It should be a great time for everyone to see live pro wrestling for the first time in that town in 20 years. And then, Sacramento, California, Colonial Theater, Wreck the Halls, December 11th. 3522 Stockton Boulevard. Doors at 6.30. Bell time at 7. 15 for adults. $10 for kids. Bring a toy that we can take down the street to the Shriners Hospital that we do every single year for this amazing event. The Colonial Theater is unlike anything else. Then December 31st, New Year's Eve at 1 p.m., Come see a hockey game with pro wrestling matches in between the periods at the Stockton Arena with thousands of people. 248 West Fremont Street is the address you should join us live and in person for the Tag Team of the Year Hockey and Wrestling. Then we kick off 2022 with a bang. Club Collision, live pro wrestling at the Boys and Girls Club. 545 West Alameda Street in Manteca. Doors at 630, bell time at 7. 15 for adults, 10 for kids. It should be an amazing time in Manteca. Well, if you want to advertise on this show, Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com is our email. 
Or you can text 916-317-9999. You can advertise on this show, which reaches many, many people. We're in towns all over the place with live events. Let's help your small business with our small business. Let's do some business with the wrestling business. It's time for the main event. It's time for the television championship to be contested in our television main event here tonight from Eagles Hall in Modesto, California. Out steps first is the challenger, Dave Wasted. Hey, you! The very skilled, very charismatic challenger from Santa Cruz, California is Dave Wasted. Him and the champion have been at each other's throats for months here in TWF. There was a beatdown in Manteca. There was a near miss in Clear Lake, California. It's all led to this. Well, here's the defending champion, C.J. Dirt. Television champion for two and a half years. Here for our main event in Modesto. Well, like the famous movie Seven, what's in the bag? CJ Dirt, of course, has the television championship slung across his shoulder, but what's in the bag? Of course, Big MF Matt Freeman, his running buddy, is here with him, watching his back, and of course. Oh, really? You think you're that important, CJ? Really? Streamers? Of all the self-righteous BS I've seen in wrestling, this is near the top. All the pomp and circumstance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, streamers everywhere. CJ Dirt. Introducing first your challenger to 
Well, the time for streamers is over. The time for BS is over. Let's get to the main event for the television championship. Let's get it going right now. That is definitely a feathery mullet. The best mullet in all of pro wrestling. What? He's under the legal limit. Great job, Dave. CJ needs to be tested too. Come on, what's fair is fair. There's a roll up. Only two. CJ was over the legal limit by a lot and a lot and a lot. And Dave wasted sweating it off. He wasn't. Breathalyzer tests for everyone. And this TV title main event starts off with a bang. Meeting of the minds. Double noggin knocker. CJ tossed back in the ring where Wasted can win this thing. Both athletes back in the squared circle now. European uppercut right on the money by the challenger. Hard into the buckles. Splash in the corner and CJ is reeling. Innovative offense, two boots right into the heart of CJ Dirt. Very long two count, but not quite three. And now the champion, CJ Dirt, scrambles outside the ring in an effort to regroup. A beautiful slingshot-like maneuver by Dave Wasted moments ago before CJ Dirt fled the scene, trying to protect his TV title. Oh, and there's one way to get rid of that leech at ringside. Oh but the momentary distraction of throwing Big MF into the corner. 
allows CJ Dirt to retake the momentum in this TV title match. Series of chops by the defending champion, and he's oh so proud of himself. Tosses him back inside. Dave wasted, headbutt to the midsection. And there we go, trying to neutralize the champion, sap the strength out of him. Running boot and CJ Dirt almost flips out of the ring. Shoulders are down, but doesn't get the three count. Dave Wasted has had an answer for everything that CJ, for everything that CJ has thrown at him, including a breathalyzer test. Almost won the title moments ago, but almost doesn't count. There's that liquid courage that accompanies Wasted wherever he goes. Meanwhile, CJ, with some shots in the corner now, reclaims the momentum. Schoolyard trip, kicks his own feet, and down he goes. Dave Wasted, stuck in no man's land, stuck in the corner. This is the main event, this is for the TV title. And a Bronco Buster. Trying to humiliate Dave Wasted is CJ Dirk. Did we really have to see it again? I didn't want to see it again. Well, back to live action now, and Dave Wasted needs to get to a vertical base. Needs to get back in this thing. Oh, come on. Cheap shot. Stocked and slapped by Big MF Matt Freeman onto the challenger for the television championship Dave Wasted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disgusting. Rubs it all in his tights and then rubs it all over the face of Dave Wasted. Absolutely revolting. That's all the Spanish he knows. Snap mare nicely done by the defending television champion CJ Dirt. Squeezing the life out of the challenger Dave Wasted. He's got his knee between his shoulder blades. That does torture on your pectoral muscles, on his shoulders, deltoids. Dave Wasted gets to a vertical base, alleviates the pressure. European uppercut. Knee lift. Million dollar knee lift sends the champion down. Sickening thud to the canvas. But not three. Wow. Despite the big time offense, the challenger unable to put away the champion. CJ kicks out. But his eyes are glazed over. He's seen his share of punishment. Television title on the line. These two, of course, met for the TV title back in June in Clear Lake Oaks, California, many hours from here. That show's all over the place. This one's in Modesto. It's been a great night thus far. Television title main event before your very eyes. Oh, and he tripped him. Dives at the feet of Dave Wasted, and down he goes. Trip the challenger. Not sure what CJ has in mind. There's a waist lock. Oh, wait. Abdominal stretch. 1989 abdominal stretch by the defending television champion. Nice shot of the actual championship moments ago, and Dave Wasted being stretched out. And CJ muscles him over. Just when it looked like Wasted was going to hit that hip toss and get himself out of trouble, CJ Dirt now puts the laces of his boot across the throat of Dave Wasted. Very illegal, but you got a five count to break it and utilizes every second of that. Wasted is hurt. He's ripe for the pickings, to quote Gorilla Monsoon. 
Dave wasted. Needs to come back in a hurry. He's on rubber legs. He can't even stand up. Oh, what a shot. And both men, both men, looking for that knockout blow. Tornado forearm by the champion. Titty twister. And there's the hip toss. Leg drop on the money by the challenger. And a very, very long two count, but not quite three. Despite the very unique offense of the challenger, Dave wasted moments ago, unable to get that three. Well, here, there's the disgustingness of a few minutes ago. Not to be outdone, Dave wasted. Gets him back with a titty twister. Wrenching on the nipples, and then the hip toss. And wasted with a forearm, CJ Dirt still feeling the effects of all that punishment. Oh no, stunner perhaps, not quite. Wasted tries for one of his own. Oh, there's the stunner. CJ Dirt with the stunner. Both men went for it. It was CJ who was able to hit it. And both men are down. Both athletes sucking some wind. They've both seen their share of heavy-handed, heavy-footed offense. Whoever can make it to their feet first while a distinct advantage in winning this thing and leaving this building, the television champion. Jacks the jaw moments ago with the stunner. Wasted hits one of his own. Out of nowhere, Dave Wasted dives at CJ Dirt and hits a stunner of his own. CJ's down. Oh, he kicked out. He kicked out. Dave Wasted nearly won the television championship with CJ's own move. And there's a drop kick for Big Enough Matt Freeman in the corner. Dives at CJ, hits a stunner of his own, but unable, can't quite get that three count. So close. And then Dave Wasted, very smart, floors Matt Freeman with a drop kick, neutralizes Matt Freeman at ringside with that drop kick. Both men are hurt. Both men have seen their share of big time, big time offense. Oh, two knees to the chest. He calls that the adios. And down goes CJ. And CJ Dirt is so lucky that he's about 6'2 and not 5'9. CJ barely gets his left boot across the bottom rope and avoids any possibility of a three count. CJ's got to thank his lucky stars. He's a taller man, or this thing would have been over. And Dave wasted. What does he have to do to put this guy away? He's taken everything but the kitchen sink, all sorts of innovative and crazy offense. Oh wait, CJ, 
CJ was playing possum. CJ finds a way to his feet and Dave Wasted is stuck in no man's land. Fuck you! Oh, stutter off the top! And down goes Dave Wasted! New champion! New champion! It's chaos! New champion! Dave Wasted is the new television champion! He outsmarted CJ Dirt! What a performance! Dave Wasted outsmarts CJ Dirt. Shoulders down, three count. The two and a half year reign is over. All the time up the roads. All the injuries, all the obstacles in his personal and pro wrestling life have led to this. A new television champion. Congratulations to Dave Wasted. Thank you so much for watching. What a moment. Congratulations to the new television champion.